Show. Good evening, Celebration. Hallelujah. Happy Wednesday. Blessings on you all. Good to see each and every one of you. Hallelujah. We Amen. pray you've had an awesome day today. Yes. It's so good mm -hmm. to be with you and be in the house of the Lord. Amen. What an awesome, mighty God we do serve. Amen. 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 He rules and reigns upon the throne of the universe. Yes, he does. Hallelujah. Blessings to you all. Blessings you to everyone. Had a wonderful day. We'll just wait <coughs> to give you an opportunity to come online. <laughs> yes, absolutely. We look forward to being with you and Hello, all of us being Crystal. together. Hey, Crystal. Hey, hey Chris. Tony and Bubba, so good to see y'all. We love you. We yes, you. we do. Give a big hug to y'all. We do. Give big Christina hugs to everybody. And Larry, Larry Norman, Norman, Norman Mita, Mita, we love good to so see y'all. So Hallelujah. Good to see you. It's good to be with hey, each Kim. and every one. Hey, Kim. Awesome to see you. Still praying for Tyler. Yes, hey, we are. Hey, Vicki and Kenneth. God bless y'all. So good to see y'all tonight. Hey, Alan, Alan and, and Karen. Karen. Good to see you tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. We hope all of you are doing well. Yes. Uh, it's been a beautiful day. Yes. My, my goodness, we've had some hey, rain. Hey, Cindy, good to see you. Oh, God good to see you. you. Lenny, so good to see you. Sunil, so Kira, good, to, good Sunil. to see you. Joshua. Kira, Joshua. Hey, Paul and Sue, good to hey, see y'all. Hey, Paul. Hey, Gray, doing, Gray, Sue? Jackson, Grayson. Hey, guys, good to see you today. Hey, Emma. Hey, good all to the see children. Everybody. So good to see y'all. Hey, Laura. Hey, Alan. Hey, Allison. Hey, Lonnie. Tammy. Hey, Lonnie, good to see y'all as well. Hey, Jessica. Good to see y'all yes. tonight. Cynthia, Cynthia so, so good, good to see, to see, see you see tonight. You. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, We've had a little rain today. Hey, Beautiful Donna. sunshine. Yeah, I've been a little uh, bit of both. Hadn't we've it? had a little <laughs> bit of everything. A little warmer oh, I weather. I loved a little it cooler yesterday weather. whenever we were uh, headed to grab a little. Uh, little had a little outing with the babies. Um, yeah. We were pulling away from the driveway, and just all of a sudden, it w now it was beautiful sunshine, right. but it was raining, raining leaves. Raining leaves. <laughs> it was just such a gorgeous, just beautiful. And Gray was beautiful, going, it's raining leaves on my side. Yeah, it was raining them on all sides. It, it is a gorgeous time of the year. Yes, it is. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Kira. So good to see y'all. We're going to give everyone Allison, a moment to sign in. We appreciate y'all hitting your everybody share button. Everybody hit your share button. Let buttons. everybody know we're starting service Absolutely. this Wednesday night. Just a blessing, blessing to be together. Amen. Yes, it is. It certainly is. We thank you, Lord, for this honor that we, yes, we, we do, do get to be together. Amen. We do. We have this opportunity to be together. We do say happy Veterans Day Amen. as well. Amen. Amen. Uh, my goodness, out of the... We're going to be opening with prayer in just a moment, Amen. reading of a scripture, but we're going to give a few more minutes for people to come in, and yeah. it's good to see when you tonight. When you hit your share button, sometimes it helps others to know, okay, well, service is getting started. Hey, Brenda Hey, B. Brenda, love you, Joshua. We love you. So good to see y'all tonight. Good to see y'all tonight. Hallelujah. So, so good to be with y'all tonight. Welcome to Celebration Family Worship Center. We're just delighted that you're here with us this yes, evening. Yes, we are. We thank the Lord. Uh, for this beautiful body of believers, we Amen. we just counted an honor and a privilege to serve as your pastors and be a we part thank of the family. The Lord. Amen. 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 For this great family of faith, I tell That's you right. what, a great family of faith. Hey, Tammy, so good to see you tonight. God bless you. Amen. Yes, all the beautiful fall colors. We do <laughs> live in a beautiful area. Yes, we do. We're here in Morganton, North Carolina at Celebration Family Worship Center. And I want to tell you what, it is gorgeous, gorgeous yeah, it's country. It's gorgeous. Something my husband has always talked about that he dearly loves is the way that we're able to see the four seasons. Yes. Clearly and distinctly in this area of the country, all four seasons yes, come we are. through so clearly and so beautifully. And it's just such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing to behold. Amen. Yes, it is. Hey, well, Monica and Derek, good hey, to see y'all. Dole, Derek. Sandy, so good, good to, to see, see everybody. Dole and Sandy, awesome to see y'all. We'll be sending out many more thanks, but already you all are just being such a blessing to us on this beautiful yes. Thanksgiving uh, Truly. month and the way you're honoring us. I know the celebration has already, always chosen to do it in the month of November, and I want to tell you what, you've, you've really encouraged and, and blessed our hearts and Thank just uplifted so us in so many ways. And 
we certainly we're just beginning the thanks and this is not the entire thanks no. but do want to just thank, thank you, you all so once again. much each of you donya and alvin yes so good to, so see, good to you. see you all and tonight and Aaliyah, i want to tell you what the children of celebration deidre uh and i were just talking some texting some yesterday and just what god's doing in the lives of our children and the way that they are proclaiming the word of god and just Amen. the way god's using them i want to tell you what our we're young just men, so proud men and of our women young of god. men and women of god amen. amen and i tell you what it just is a blessing they've been they too have been sharing in this pastor appreciation time and have just yes i'm gonna tell souls. you what you just we stand back and just uh the words that they Amen. share are just so powerful and you're just like wow words of life amen. amen 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 so we thank the lord for for all the young yes we people do thank y'all so celebration. much celebration amen but uh, we're continuing to honor him, continuing to honor the Lord with our tithes and offerings, whether you're able to, you can use the Easy Tithe app that's right there on our Facebook page, and that's just a very secure way yes. to give. Many have found it to be a, a very easy, very easy, easy to use, and it's very safe, but then also if you prefer mailing tithes and offerings into Celebration, Family Worship Center at P.O. Box 2058, Morganton, Morganton North, North Carolina, Carolina 28680. That is totally fine, too. Now, my husband and I were just talking before we came on service, and I know the light always, pretty much y'all are seeing a big square blur, but this is the Samaritan's yes, Curse. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, it, bulletin. Yes. Uh, announcement and... We are coming to our close of that, but we right. want you to continue giving through uh, you for can, sure this week. Easy Tide, you can yes. get through it and post it directly. Yes. Uh, these, these boxes for the children are $9 each, yes. and we just have uh, declared and are calling in that All every box that All has been prepared, Jane and Sandy have been working on these. And we thank them. We thank y'all so, so, so much. much. Thank you. But every one of them that's been prepared for this year will be shipped out. Will be going out Amen. this year. Amen. Absolutely. And so uh, if you want to, if you're unable maybe to do it on your own, if you join with a friend and y'all send in together, but all of us just giving the yes. nine dollars each for those boxes, we're going to bless. We're going to reach a harvest of souls. With Amen. It. We are. Amen. Amen. My honey's got a scripture to open up with. Hey Amen. But tonight. let me say this first. This is my uh, wife, my sweetie, Pastor Vanjie. Oh, yes, my honey, Pastor Rocky. We're so happy <laughs> so good to, to be, be with y'all. For tonight. those that it is your first time joining us. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Um, and there are there are many that are joining. Yes, us. there are. I, I, we're, we're looking forward to talking to Pastor Daniel in Kenya. He's been wanting to set up an online conference. Yeah, do an online conference. And just conference to be able you. to share with them their other pastors from different parts of the world that are gleaning and coming in and getting being able to take part in the classes. We thank all yes, of our teachers. They are. We thank Brian, Dan, and Jerry for the music that they're sending out because all these different ministries that are part of celebration, we are still reaching out. Yes, we, are. we are still reaching out. Even during this time, and just sharing the love of Jesus, the hope of Jesus. And so That's when you right. hit your share button, just think of yourself as a little missionary or a little evangelist. Just with that one click, you're able just to leave that to the Holy Spirit. And he is like He's sending, sending it out. the videos that are being prepared That's each right. week and using them for his honor Amen. and for his glory. Absolutely. Amen. Out of the book of Psalms, the 37th chapter, the 18th verse, The Lord knoweth the days of the upright. Amen. And their inheritance shall be forever. Amen. I think I actually pulled that one a couple of weeks ago. Amen. But that's an awesome one. Amen. Hallelujah. It is such a wonderful word. Such a wonderful word. We're just going to go to the Lord in prayer. Amen. Thank you, God. Father, we come to you tonight, and we thank you for being able to gather yes. together as a church family. Amen. We thank, thank you for you our for brothers and sisters. We our thank you for this beautiful, beautiful day family. that you've given us. And Father, we ask God, that as we're gathered together in, in our midst, you've told us that you will be here. Wherever two or three are gathered yes. in your name, you're in the midst of them. Yes. And Lord Jesus, we want to declare your greatness. Yes. We know that you're watching over your word and that you will perform what you've said you'll do. Yes, and God. Father, 
We're believing this night souls to be saved. Amen. We declare bodies are healed. Amen. Yokes are lifted. Burdens are removed. Yes. We thank you that strongholds yes. throughout this world are being broken in the name at this of very Jesus. moment. Yes. In the name of Jesus. So, Father, have your way. Jesus, be exalted and glorified. Oh, Sweet Holy Ghost, hallelujah. move among us by the power of the Spirit. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In the name and of Jesus. And everybody said. In the name of Jesus, we're going to. Brian's going to blow the shofar, and Brenda's going to be blowing it at her house. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Be exalted, Lord. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you. 
rejoice. rejoice. And I will be glad in it. Yes, amen, amen. amen. Thank you, Father. <laughs> What a 
beautiful name.
Hallelujah, powerful, Jesus. Powerful, powerful name. Thank you, Jesus. Lord. Hallelujah. Father God, it's the name that we lift yes. up tonight as the we gather again around names. Teresa. Yes. Father God, we gather around our sweet yes, family, we do. Father God, and we lift Teresa to yes, you. Yes, we do. We bring Kevin her and the children, Lord grace, God, Lord. and in particular Teresa, yes. we're thanking you we thank for the you healing that she is of healed of the Lord. flowing in her body we from the top that that of her head to the soles of her feet. I Hallelujah. thank you, Father, that even this very matter. evening yes. she said that she is feeling yes, better. Yes, Lord, we thank and you Father for that. Father God, as a church we body, we declare your greatness we declare and declare your she's a healed of yes, the Lord. Yes, she is in the name COVID of Jesus. COVID has no, no place. place in her life. That's it cannot right. remain in her body. That's right. And we just command it to be, be gone, gone away and right it goes now. no further yes. in the precious, in the precious holy name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. God, we lift up Kenneth. Yes, Father we do, God, Lord, walk right now. A son that was in we an thank accident. you, Lord. And God, even this you past Sunday, with you. you had a word yes. that you gave through my husband we before you, we Lord even Jesus. saw the message that was on the on the, that was being texted out. Father God, last Sunday after church, the yes. very word you had given to my husband concerning a place in the neck going down into the shoulder. It was later when we looked back, Norma had lifted up this request for Kenneth. Father God, that that is where his yes. injury was. And Father God, we continue to speak life yes. over his body from yes. the top of his head the of to, his the head to the soles of his, of his feet. feet. He's the healed, he of, is the the healed Lord. of the Lord. We thank you, God, that Caitlin, yes. Father God, Norman, meet his granddaughter yes. that was in a car accident the other night. We we're declaring you. total healing. healing. We thank you, the God. Lord. The angels were stationed yes. around keeping her, guard over keeping her guard way. over her, and we mm. speak life Shut and strength to her limbs, Lord God. She already yes, got Jesus. to go home, yes. but Father God, we're asking you for total, total healing in her body. In also for body. Norm, Lord God. Yes. We're lifting strength. him up to you and asking yes. you to strengthen, strengthen his, body his body in Lord. the precious Hallelujah. mighty name of Jesus. We continue to gather around death. Debbie, yes. as we're joining with yes. Donna, as we're joining with total, Paul and Sue, lifting up healing. Debbie to you for this yes. restorative miracle. Nothing missing and we nothing thank broken. you, Father God, for doing yes. it. Yes, in the name of Jesus. For Karen McCray's granddaughter, yes. Father God, that's been taken to hospital. She's pregnant. Yes. Father God, uh, we, we don't know all the full details body. of what's going on, but you do. And we bring this child, child before you in the yes. name of Jesus. And we Lord ask you just to minister to them in the name of Jesus. For Kaylee, Lord God, we continue to declare your healing power continuing to declare flowing in her body. body. Mary yes. Catherine. We lift her, her up body. in the name, in of, the Jesus. name of Jesus. And we are believing with Gerald and with Harry, Father God, yes. for a miracle, a miracle in their niece's body, yes, Lord God. Body. We command yes. all swelling in that swelling brain be to gone. be gone. Yes. We pray she wakes up yes. in a peaceful way. Peace. Father God, this is a repeated Wholeness. request that yes. as she comes off the respirator, that yes. she's able to wake up in a peaceful in a manner. Peaceful so God, we're asking you for shalom yes. to cover her her. Yes, Lord. Shalom to yes. cover her in yes. every way. Her yes. brain to Lord, function and be healed by the miraculous power of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. For Jennifer, she's continuing yes. to be healed. Yes, continue. And she's coming through body, those transplants. Lord. Yes. Father God, we thank we're you asking you for strengthening her body. We're asking Lord you for Tyler, Jesus. Lord God, that you continue strengthening him and healing him as he is recovering, Jesus. Father God, from yes. that trampoline accident yes. in the name of Jesus. Also for Teresa, as she has that torn rotator cuff, right. she's seeking guidance we about the surgeries body. and just the way that you yes. want her to go. And we're asking you, Lord God, to surround yes. our sister and heal her body, yes. minister to her in every single way in the yes. name of Jesus. We lift up Pastor, Pastor Scott. Scott to we're you. continuing we're to continue stand to pray with the Schatzline family. And we thank you, God, for the miracle that complete. you're doing in his life. In the mighty as name you are of Jesus. Total healing Shalom to over in Scott. The name of in Jesus. the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We call it done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, that we're able to come to you with all of our prayer requests. And yes. we know that when we do, we are serving a God who hears Hallelujah. and a God who answers our yes, prayers. Yes, we are. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hey, Iris. Hey, Deidre. Ryan, hey, David. Hey, Iris. Good to see y'all as well. So good to see y'all tonight. Hey, Norma. Deidre. Hey, Walt. Hey, Norma and Walt. So good to 
to see y'all. Amen. 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 Well, before we get started sharing tonight <coughs> what the Lord's given us for this evening, like my husband said a few minutes ago, we want to take time to honor our veterans. Darling, that one's a little... A little bright? A little too bright. I'll cut it off. <laughs> a little... You may have to there look at go. the screen. Hey. <laughs> if you look at the screen, you'll see if it's too bright. <laughs> Amen. And so um, today is Veterans Day. And uh, we want to take this time. It's a time in our nation. This day has been set apart as a time when we honor all those who serve in our country, those who've served, whether in wars in the past, even in times of peace, but those who have uh, given their lives in service and those who continue, those that have given their lives in the past, but those who continue to be willing, even this very day, as they serve in all the different military branches of our great country, the United States of America. And this morning, the Lord woke my husband up and gave him a beautiful, gave him some beautiful words that he wrote down. And you've already, Cindy has sent them to our church family. But I've asked my husband if he will share those again, Amen. because there's some who did not receive that text. If this is your first time joining us, we yes. just want to say again, we honor, we honor. our veterans. Yes, we do. And he, God gave my husband such beautiful words to share. And I asked if he would please share those before I go into what he has given me for this evening. It would be my privilege. On this Veterans Day, November the 11th, 2020, we would like to take this opportunity to honor Amen. all who have and are serving in our United States of America military. Amen. We in the United States of America have been blessed by God Almighty and thus given by Him a precious gift, life, yes. liberty, and freedom. These gifts have been forged at a great price, first by God the Father giving life through His Son, and second through men and women yes. who have served this great nation with grit and determination of heart. Their sacrifice of service has come with the greatest gift anyone can give to another. Greater love hath no man or woman Amen. than this, Amen. than they lay down their life for their friends. Amen. This gift and ideals founded in and on the Word of God has been tested throughout the years but will never be destroyed. Through their faithfulness to and for this gift and ideals given to us by God Almighty, America still stands yes. as a beacon of hope for the freedom to this world. Yes. Our prayer for our nation is that we would be a nation who keeps our eyes and our hearts focused upon the creator of all life, Amen. Jesus Christ, and walk in the light of his freedom. Yes. He that the Son sets free is free indeed. Amen. We pray for you, our celebration family veterans, yes. active duty soldiers, and veterans of these United States, that God would give you his peace, yes. his love through Jesus Christ, and allow you to have rest for your faithful service. May the shalom of God, Amen. nothing missing, nothing broken, Amen. abide with you always in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And just a celebration family, we honor. I want to tell you, at celebration, we have so many right here in our body yes, we do. that have served in the military, yes. that continue to serve in the military, that have family members yes. serving in the military. So by extension, they are part of our family. Absolutely. And we do. We say thank you. Thank you. We thank are you, a grateful church. We are grateful pastors are. for what all of you all what you all have done as you have served and Absolutely. are serving in the military, and we honor you today. Yes, we and do. And we say happy Veterans happy Day. Happy Veterans Day. And just a salute to you. Yes, Amen. we do. Amen. God bless you and blessings of the Lord on you. Amen. And so, Father, we thank you, Father God, on this special day. Today, yes. the 11th, Father God, of the 11th month here in yes. 2020, 
as we honor our veterans. And Lord God, we do. I join with my husband and just pray a special blessing. Yes, Lord. First of all, Lord God, our hearts definitely go out to our veterans right here at yes. Celebration, part of our family, as we honor with great yes, gratitude and bless them in the name of yes, Jesus. We do. The and ask of the you Lord to surround honor. them, Lord God, yes. with your special blessings in ways that they can't contain. That's right, Lord. And we appreciate them. We appreciate everything they've done, Lord God, and we give you glory and honor for yes. them. And we give you glory and honor for your word tonight. Yes, Lord. And Father we God, as we share, God. we just ask you, Lord thank Jesus, you, Lord. that you just share what you would want to be shared tonight. And it's for your glory and for your honor, God, that we yes, do this. Lord. In the precious, in the precious, precious name, name, of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So in light of Veterans Day, as we continue to look at the great uh, men and women in the book of Acts, because that's where we've been looking the past few Wednesday nights, I was just struck by the fact that we have some veterans of the faith. Yes, we, we have do. veterans of the faith. As I look at the leadership team, there in the book of Acts of men and women in the early church, there's just no denying the great perils that they faced. And yet they were willing. They were willing to continue steadfast and share the gospel of the Lord Amen. Jesus Christ even in their day. They were willing to live out that scripture that is found <coughs> over in John chapter 15 verse right. 13. If you'll turn to John chapter 15, verse 13, it says, Greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. Amen. And literally, their sharing came at great physical risk. Yes, those that did. were in the book of Acts, as we are been talking even on Sunday, we looked at John the Beloved. He's one of the 12 disciples, and he was part of that uh, early team of leadership there in the church in in uh, the book of Acts. And he too, Amen. he faced his own share of enormous difficulties and enormous persecution, yet he continued sharing the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ even when the other ten disciples, including his very own brother James, had been martyred for the cause of Christ. And so in that way, when I say that they are veterans of the faith, Amen. It's just so to speak that when you look at it in that realm, they were willing to risk their lives. They counted lives. it all and gave their lives yes. to ensure that the spreading of the gospel would continue. And so here's a crushed, broken group of believers following the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. But they had been transformed into the most confident, Amen. unbowed, unafraid, Come overcoming on. people that the Come world on. has yes. ever witnessed. And it's all so documented. It's so well yes, documented it there in the book of Acts. But I just wanted to know, how had these people been able to replace their despair with hope? Their mourning with incomparable joy and mm -hmm. unconquerable mm -hmm. joy. How had they overcome their fear of persecution and even the fear of death? How had they become unstoppable and literally changed the course of world history? That's right. That is what happened in the book of That's Acts. That's exactly what and happened. And as you have pointed out, the book of Acts is not over. It's the not. book of Acts still continues. We today. still get to write chapters yes. in that book, even to this very day. Amen. Amen. Well, I believe that these men and women in the early church, they had tapped into what the power of the resurrected Messiah yes. and his resurrection meant in their own lives. Amen. They had. They had tapped into it. They had tapped into the new beginning that came when Jesus walked out of that tomb. Come on. There's something so powerful that happened when he walked out of that tomb. They had tapped into the fact that the risen Messiah now lived inside, inside of, them, of them. And he had become the power over mm -hmm. their lives. Yes. And the same power that had turned the end to the beginning, death into life, yes. despair into hope, and now they're mourning into joy. Yes. Amen. Amen. It's not just enough celebration for us to walk 
in the death of Jesus on the cross. We've got to walk in the power of his resurrection, of resurrection yes. and what that means in our lives. We've yes. got to tap into the very thing that they tapped into as the early church, Absolutely. as we, we see to. in the book of Acts. They had come to see the power of the words that were later written by the Apostle Paul. As we turn over tonight to Romans chapter 8, verses 10 through 15. So if you'll go with me to Romans chapter 8, verses 10 through 15. This is what it says. But if Christ is in you, then even though your body is subject to death because of sin, the Spirit gives life because of righteousness. Mm -hmm. Come on. And if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, yes. He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life Ooh, to hallelujah. your mortal bodies. Yes. Because of his spirit who lives in you. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking to celebration. Come tonight. on. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we have an obligation. It is not to the flesh to no. live according to it. No. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put death to the misdeeds of the body, mm -hmm. you will live. For those who are led by the Spirit of God, God. are the children of yes, God. Yes, hallelujah. The Spirit you receive does not make you slaves so that you live in fear again. Rather, the Spirit you received brought your adoption to sonship, and by Him we cry, yes, Abba, we cry Father. Abba, Father. Now, church, that's the power of Hallelujah. walking in resurrection. Yes. It's the power of the resurrection that Jesus was sharing with Martha. That's Remember right. a couple of weeks ago, I shared an exhortation, and there's Martha. Her brother Lazarus has died, and Jesus shows up a few days later after it's all been said and done. And we found there in John chapter 11, verse 25, these are the words Jesus said to Martha. He said, Martha, I'm the resurrection and the life. Come on. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die, and whoever lives by believing in me will never, we'll never die. die. Do you believe this? And we heard what Martha's answer was there in verse 27. She said, yes, Lord, I believe. I believe you're the Messiah, the Son of God, who has come to the world. Hallelujah. And Jesus was sharing something very powerful with Martha about the resurrection right there and what it truly meant. Mm -hmm. And all this happened first with Lazarus, but it was right before Jesus right was before. going to be going to yes. the cross, dying on the cross, going into a tomb himself, and, and the resurrected. Resurrection power. He's giving her a good head start. Yep. I want you to know what resurrection means, Come Martha. On. I want you to tap into it now. Yes. And he's letting her know that he is Messiah. That's right. He is resurrection. He is resurrection. And so Martha believed, like most of the Jews, that her brother Lazarus was going to rise again with the righteous on the last on day. On the last day. That's what she'd been taught and that's what she believed. But Jesus is challenging her right here. Come on. And he's saying, I want to challenge your belief system. I want to expand it into the fullness of the truth of what resurrection really means. He's like, hey, Martha, I want you to know something. I am resurrection. Yes. You don't have to wait till the last day. I'm going to raise your brother Lazarus from the dead right now. Come on. And by letting her know that, he didn't claim that he had resurrection in life, he's letting Martha know that he was resurrection, he was resurrection. and life. Yes. It wasn't just a knowledge of it. He's letting her know, I'm it. Mm -hmm. I am resurrection and life. And remember from a couple weeks ago, she had said to him, even in this time of great despair, she had said, you know, Jesus, I, you know, I know my brother's died, but I know that if you ask anything of the Father, he, He's going to do on, it he'll for do you. It. And even in her time of great sorrow, she stretched her faith just to speak mm -hmm. those words. He knew her heart was primed and ready to receive <coughs> what resurrection was Come really on. all about. You see, resurrection power gives hope. You're and right. those believers over in the book of Acts, they had hope 
in Amen. spite of everything coming against them, yeah. there was still a hope. And it came from that resurrection yeah. power. Yes. And Jesus is letting her know, not only do I get the things that I pray for to the Lord, I am the things. These things That's don't right. happen apart from me. That's right. I am the resurrection and, and I am life. life. And Jesus is letting her know that since he is and since he was resurrection, that he was going to raise Lazarus right, right then. From the dead. And we know that's exactly what he did. Amen. The miracle of Lazarus Amen. when he spoke and told them to roll that stone away and spoke to Lazarus and said, come forth. Come on. He came right up out of that grave come on. because Jesus is resurrection yes. and his life. And this is the power of resurrection of those Amen. early believers in the book of Acts. It's what they tapped into. It is. It's that power from those words that Jesus had spoken right there in John chapter 11, verse 25. If you don't have those words marked in your yes. Bible, my honey is always telling us, mark your Bible mark up. It up. That would be a good one to go and highlight. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, above it, put Jesus is, is resurrection, resurrection and life. Yes. They were able to press through. Yes, they were. When you know that, you're able to press through persecution, they pressed through even death yeah. because they trusted in the power of mm -hmm. the resurrected Messiah. Jesus who championed over death. Yes. They realized as believers that death would simply be a transition. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it. it's not a stop. No. It's just a transition from old life to new. to new. They realized that walking in the power of resurrection, it doesn't mean that physical death won't occur. Obviously, right. 10 of the disciples were mm -hmm. martyred for the cause of Christ. But they were able, even in those moments, to recognize and tap into the power of, of the, the resurrection. resurrection. They knew where they were going. That's they right. might be taking one breath here on earth, but they knew where they would pay, be taking the, la the next breath. And how did they know? They had seen resurrection in its full context. Yes. They had seen and operated miraculously in it as disciples and leaders there in the, child, in, in the early church's life. They had seen the resurrected one with their yes. very own eyes. You know what? They that, knew. That's right. To add to this, who were the two that went to the, that yeah. ran to the tomb? Yeah. I'll let you go. Oh, okay. yeah, they're going there. I didn't there. know you were there. That, yeah, we're going there. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know if we're going there, but we're going to where they saw. You see, it's one thing to be told, mm -hmm. but the Bible, the reason this book is still alive and the number one seller even today, yep. these are proven historical proven. facts. Yes. These things happened. There were eyewitnesses. eyewitnesses it wasn't just it. a dream. Oh, well, I think he was resurrected. No, no. sir, Ray, he was resurrected. The same Jesus that died on the cross. He's the same Jesus who spoke with them on several right. occasions. You just mentioned one of the occasions mm -hmm. when they went to the tomb. I would like to mention another occasion that's given over in John chapter 25, if you'll go with me to verse 1. John chapter 25, verse 1. Jesus appeared to his disciples along the shore of Lake Tiberias. Simon Peter, Thomas the twin, Nathaniel from Cana in Galilee, and the brothers James and John were there together with two other disciples. Mm -hmm. So right here, we've got a group of them. Right. It's not just one. Right. we got a group of them. And anyhow, there they are. And Simon Peter says, I'm going fishing. This is after Jesus mm -hmm. has died and after he's resurrected. But they haven't seen him yet. Nope. Or it's one of the yeah, occasions. It's the occasion. And the other said, well, we're going to go fishing with you. And they went out in their boat and they didn't catch a thing. But early the next morning, Jesus stood on the shore. But the disciples at that moment didn't realize who he was. And Jesus shouted, friends, have you caught anything? No, they answered. So he told them, let your net down on the right side of your boat and you will catch some fish. And they did. And their net was so full of fish, they could not drag it up into the boat. And I love this. This is another one of those occasions we were talking about on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Jesus' favorite disciple, and we know who that is, yep. told Peter, It's the Lord! It's the Lord! Yep. And when Simon heard 
it was the Lord. He put on clothes because he's out there uh, uh, fishing. He puts on his clothes. He jumps in the water. The boat's only about 100 meters from shore. And so he and the, uh, the other disciples, they're there pulling what? in this haul of fish. And he goes out and he's dove into the water. And when the disciples got out of the, the boat, they get to the shore as well. And they see some bread and a charcoal fire with fish on it. And Jesus said to his disciples, bring some of the fish you caught. And Simon Peter got back into the boat and he dragged the net ashore. In it were 153 large fish. How specific. But the net did not rip. And Jesus said, come and eat. And none of the disciples, listen to this, they all know, none of the disciples dared ask who he was. But the word says, but they knew it was the Lord. Mm -hmm. Jesus took the bread in his hands and he gave some of it to the disciples. And he did the same with the fish. And this, honey, was the third time. You're talking about the first time. Right. But this was the third time that Jesus appeared to his disciples after he was raised from the dead. So these disciples and apostles of the early church, they got to see the power of resurrection yes. right before their very eyes. And it was that resurrection power that abided in them mm. and through them in their time of ministry. And it was infused by the power of the Holy Ghost. And even on this occasion of seeing the resurrected Jesus, it had a lasting meaning on what lay ahead for them and their ministry. Yes and the birth of the church. We just think, oh well, Jesus came out on the lake, he saw them, they'd gone back to fishing, big deal, they just had gone no. back and retreated to what they were doing. The Lord doesn't miss a single opportunity to do great works. That's right. And the Lord takes what can look so minimal in our eyes as, oh well, we just had a day of fishing, and he, with the very specifics of what happened on that fishing trip, yes. he set a precedent of what y'all they were going to be doing in the future. Amen. Why is it so special? specific that they caught 153 large fish i mean why does the word need to be so specific about that because jesus was letting them know i'm sending you guys into a great harvest field i'm sending y'all into a field of great redemption for all yes. nations and all people those 153 large fish it pointed to a mighty harvest of people groups mm -hmm. of the world that were going to be coming to the Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. These great ca uh, catchers of fish, they began now to heal. Particularly Peter. He began an inner healing right then and there yes. on his guilt that he felt. Because, you know, he had denied, he denied, he the, had Lord. denied the Lord uh, there three at that times. fire three different times. But now Jesus has built a fire. Even details like that. Yes. Jesus has built a, de a, a fire right there at the lake of the shore of the lake. Mm -hmm. And he's brought Peter close to that. Yes. And he is saying, now it's time for your restoration. This is the time whenever yes. he questioned him and asked him if he loved him three times. And we know that through that, Peter was able to see, the Lord is referring to what I did. But the Lord told him, listen here. I called you years ago yes. over in Luke chapter 5 verse 10. I called you when you were fishing just for these fish that are in the sea. I called you then and I said, come and follow me. I will make you fishers of men. And I'm reestablishing you <coughs> today. I'm reinstalling you today. I come am on. giving restoration to you today, yes. Peter. Right here in this miracle catch of fish, right here around this fire, I'm bringing you back around a very similar situation Absolutely. that you were mm -hmm. back then. And don't you know, the Lord Jesus declared, Peter declared before the Lord Jesus and those disciples at, the, at that fire, I love you, Lord. I, I love, love you, Lord. When the Lord asked him to feed his sheep, yeah. I will do it, Lord. I will do it. That's the restorative Amen. power of the Lord. That's the power of, of resurrection. Yes, it is. That's what it does. It brings hope to a hopeless situation. They talk about how Peter, when he was out in that boat, he couldn't really recognize the voice of Lord because he really was so Still guilty. In, yeah. But John, the beloved, the beloved, he heard the voice. He and he's like, listen, voice, yeah. guys, listen, Peter, that 
that's Jesus on the shore. And he's the very one in the boat who recognized that voice. Here, the beloved. We love him so much. And just the way that even on that occasion Amen. that he knew it. But here, the disciples are recognizing. And they are witnessing the great restoration yes. of Peter. And they're recognizing that Jesus, this is where. I believe this is where something so great along with the other occasions mm -hmm. then when they see Jesus. That was all with purpose. When they saw him after he was resurrected, it did something to say, I've accepted him into my heart. When yes. he left this earth, <clears throat> and then they are walking, they've gone to Jerusalem, they've waited on Pentecost, the yes. Holy Spirit has filled them. There's a quickening now that this same Jesus that is now gone to heaven, he lives inside of us. His resurrection power yes. lives inside of us. We've seen with our own Amen. eyes what happens with the resurrection power. Yes. You can, though you were dead, you are alive. That's, right. That's in the physical but it is also in the spiritual. spiritual. So they were able to forge ahead. They were able to spread the gospel throughout, throughout, right there, right there in the book of Acts. We hear of all the accounts. There's all so much persecution that comes mm -hmm. against them. Yet they keep forging ahead. And it's that resurrection power that is in work at work in their lives. Absolutely. It's the same thing that we started with tonight whenever we said in John chapter 15, verse 13. No greater love is there than this, than for one to lay down his life for his friends. Yes. When you walk in the power of the resurrection, yes. you're able to lay down your life for your family. That's how our veterans are able to go out. They, those that know the Lord, they're able to walk in a different realm That's because right. they're able to recognize the Lord is right there with them. The resurrection yes, power amen. of the Lord. And the Lord wants to give resurrection power to our celebration family amen. that even in these times that we're living in, we're still part of that ex ch uh, early church. Yes, we are. Even now in 2020, Amen. the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus wants to flow in our lives in a powerful yes. and a strong way as we continue sharing the gospel Amen. with those that he gives us to share the gospel with. That's Amen. Right. Amen. The you know, resurrection power of the Lord. In that awesome story that you just shared in the, in the teaching that you just gave, in every one of those appearances, yeah. the Lord dealt with the natural yes. to show the supernatural. Yes. Lazarus comes out in grave clothes. Yes. And he has to tell them, take the grave clothes off. Yes. Jesus was raised to life. They went into the tomb, saw the grave clothes wrapped up. Yes. Here with the fishing, they went back to what doing they what they doing. knew. Yes. And in net fishing, you fish towards the shore. Yes. Jesus said, huh, put them on the other side. Put on the other side. Do it spiritually. Put it on yes. the other side. Yes. So we, we have to understand that what we know in the natural is knowing in part. Yes. And it's valuable. It is. Even the things in the natural, the yes. Lord will work with even what we know in the natural. Yes. And through it, he will teach spiritual He'll truth. He'll teach spiritual truth. That are so, so powerful in our lives. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. What an awesome teaching, sweetie. Amen. Amen. The Lord, the Lord's so faithful. Uh, I know we live in resurrection power. Hallelujah. We live this day, all of us. When we choose to follow after the Spirit of God. Amen. Now, I want you to, to look at something tonight. Uh, we're going to be in the book of Colossians. The book of Colossians. Uh, I, love, I love this specific book. Amen. It's very, it, it's a blessing. In the book of Colossians, we have to get the understanding that this book was written. Colossae and Laodicea were close in proximity. They, they, um, they exchanged letters with each other. All right. When a letter would come from, from one of the apostles and from Paul, whomever, Peter, they would share with each other what they were hearing. So this letter is being written by the apostle Paul and understanding this letter was written somewhere between 58 A.D., or uh, after his death, yeah. and uh, 63, 64, depending on uh, which way you you take his uh, imprisonment, because this is one of the prison epistles. So 
uh, this letter was written to strengthen the church, and Paul had never met this church. So this letter to the church at Colossae was written by the Apostle Paul to a body that he had never had the privilege of meeting, a body he had never had the privilege of pouring into their lives directly. I want you to turn to the second chapter because I want to share a couple of things with you. Uh, we understand, according to the scriptures, all throughout the Old Covenant, the prophets prophesied about the coming of Messiah. They prophesied, uh, you know, his birth. They prophesied his death. They prophesied um, his even coming in uh, on, a, on a donkey. Yeah. They prophesied all different aspects of who Jesus was. And the fulfillment of prophecy is the linking fact because when Jesus rose from the dead, he fulfilled all yes. of the old covenant prophecies yes. to the point because everything, all God's promises are yes, and we speak the amen. So understanding, he said, I'm going to give you a new covenant amen. in my blood. He gave them a new covenant, gave us a new covenant in his blood. But in the book of Colossians, the second chapter, I want you to look at verse number one. We want to pick up here. There's several key things. And now I'm sharing some things with you tonight because the kingdom of God's all about souls. The kingdom of God, Jesus spoke to us out of the book of Matthew and he said, go into the world and make disciples of all nations. Everyone, we must be able to disciple. We must be able to pour into people's lives and help them grow in the things of the kingdom of God and so that the Holy Spirit, because we know as little children, I mean, our grandbabies, our, our precious son. I mean, I remember when we used to have to hold them and feed them. But then all of a sudden, they start learning how to eat. And sometimes them learning how to eat is messy. Yes. But as they learn how to eat, they learn how to take in the nourishment for themselves. So as the Lord's going to show us here in just a few moments, there are things that every one of us can use from this second chapter of Colossians to pour into people. But God's also got something special for each one of us to remember here. So in verse number one, uh, Amplified Bible, uh -huh. for I want you to know how great is my solid, uh, solitude for you, how severe an inward struggle I am engaged in for you, and for those believers at Laodicea, and for all who, like yourselves, have never seen my face and known me personally. Mm -hmm. Now, Paul is writing to, to these believers, and he's speaking to them because these believers were being, uh, there was a gathering that was coming against them, and they were pretenders. Okay. They were Judaizers, but they were trying to sow discord and bring division so that the teachings of the apostles would be turned from. And Paul is writing from his prison cell in Rome. And he's writing to them. Now listen to this. He's telling them about this anguish that he's going in. And that he's struggling too. Because he hasn't yet been able to see them face to face. It says, for my concern in verse 2. Is that their hearts may be braced. Comforted. Cheered. And encouraged as they are knit together in love. He's talking about, he's writing to the church at Laodicea. He's writing to the church at Colossae. And he's telling them, as believers, be of good cheer, be comforted, be encouraged as you are knit together in love. Amen. We must understand because, yes, we are physical. We live in this world. We go through the physical desires, we still have to eat, we still have to drink water, we yeah. still have to do those things. The natural side of life mm -hmm. is still there. Mm -hmm. But he's telling them, more importantly, is be knit together 
in the love of Christ. Amen. Right now, our screen has gone black, <laughs> and it has blank. <laughs> yeah. And I know that you're it on the other side of this. Basically, every time, <laughs> every service, <laughs> it happens to us. Yeah. But as I'm speaking to you, I'm not speaking to you as I can see you, but I do see you. Yes. And the Lord. Why? Because he, the same spirit that dwells in me, the same spirit that dwells in my wife, dwells in you. Yes. It dwells yes. in you. Yes. So we are knit together yes, we are. spiritually with a bond that can't be broken Amen. because it's a spiritual bond. Amen. Okay? Amen. So be knit together in the love yes. together that they may come to have all the abounding wealth. Hallelujah. And blessings of assured conviction of understanding, and that they may become progressively more intimately acquainted with, and may know more definitely and accurately, thoroughly, that mystic secret of God, which is Christ, Amen. which is the anointed one. We are we are being built. The treasure of wisdom. Hallelujah. God is revealing the treasure of wisdom to us each and every day. That's why we must live in the word. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Yes. But as we dwell in the word. Now, understanding, dwelling is not the volume. Oh, I read eight chapters today. Yeah. But how much did you understand? Yeah. There have yeah. been days that I've read one, one scripture, one verse, and that's been the day that God would take this verse yeah. and it would over and over and over again. Amen. It would bless me and I would draw the wisdom of Christ Jesus that he was speaking, whether it's through the apostles or whether it's through himself or whether by the Holy Spirit speaking to us. But we must understand the anointed one, Amen. the Christ. Amen. Peter was declaring, yes, Lord, yes, Master, yes, Christ, yes, yes the anointed one. You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. He had already been declaring this. Jesus has already breathed upon them. Yeah. They've already received the Holy Spirit. So we must grow in the things of the anointed one. Amen. Yes, there are things that we can teach in the world. We can, you know, teach a child to do this. We can teach a young teenager how to work on a car, how to, how to build something. We can teach how to make breakfast. We can teach people how to do things. Yes. But when we receive from the Lord, it is something that gets planted in us. Amen. So we must receive the treasures of the wisdom of God. Yes. We have yes. to receive the treasures of the wisdom of God. Amen. In him, all the treasures, say all the treasures. All the treasures. Of divine wisdom, comprehensive insight into the ways and the purposes of God, and all the riches of spiritual knowledge and enlightenment are stored up and lie hidden in Christ Jesus is everything we need to know. Amen. <clears throat> everything for life, everything that we need in this life, Amen. spiritually, naturally, everything is in Christ Jesus. Amen. He told Abraham. Abraham said, oh, if I only had an heir. He, he was an old man. But he told Abraham, Abraham, or Abram, your name's no longer Abram. You're Abraham. He gave him the secret, a secret to the kingdom. Yes. God said, Abraham, Abram had to believe God and start calling himself Abraham. Abraham, and in believing God and calling himself Abraham, yes. he pleased God. Yes. In speaking what God spoke and believing what God said, because he didn't just believe it for him. 
he started calling his wife mother, mm -hmm. queen, Amen. princess. He started speaking life to her. So every time he calls himself Abraham, he's speaking life to himself. Every time he calls his wife queen, princess Sarah, he's calling her mother. He's speaking life to her body. Amen. So we must realize that everything Everything in Jesus Christ is in him. Hallelujah. It is in him. It is hidden in him. It is a treasure to be revealed. Yes, yes. So we must grasp a hold of the word of God. It's one of the greatest teachings we can teach a new convert. Amen. To believe God. Yeah. What he has said, he'll do. Yeah. What he said, he'll do. We see him do it. We put things into action in our lives. We help new believers to see things happen in their lives. Yes. And they start growing in the faith. We come down a, a little bit further. But in this of receiving the treasures of the kingdom, of receiving the wisdom of the kingdom of God, we must be wise mm -hmm. because there are people in this world that want to steal the treasure. We go back, we look at movies. We see, I remember as a child watching, everything was about taking the treasure from someone, getting what they had. Uh, all these yeah, cowboys, yeah. all these uh, bank robbers, all these pirates, all these things mm -hmm. were about taking something from someone. In verse 4, it says, I say this in order that no one may mislead. The, the King James says, I say this lest any man should beguile you. Mm. Lest any man should mislead you. If it's the word of God, you will not be misled. Amen. We rightly divide, divide the word of truth, but we must understand that God's word will not return void. It will accomplish what he has sent it to do. Amen. We must keep those from misleading and deluding you by plausible and persuasive and attractive arguments and beguiling speech. Have you ever met someone that just tried to talk circles around you? Or met someone that no matter what you said, it, they tried to put it down? The Word of God is not to be put down. Amen. Amen. The Word of God is alive. Amen. When my wife made the statement that the book of Acts is still alive today. Amen. There are people in this world that will argue with you mm. that the book of Acts is not for today. Whoa. That it died with John the Apostle. But let me tell you what. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. He changes not. Amen. He is the same God of Abraham. He's the same God of David. He's Isaac the same God Jacob. of Amen. Isaac and Jacob. He's yes. the same God of Isaiah and Jeremiah. Yes. Yes. He's the same God yes, he is. of Paul the Apostle yes. and Peter. He's the same yes. God of any who believe. He does not change. And his same resurrection power. The same resurrection power. Amen. He comes further. So make sure when you're sharing, don't let anyone mislead you. Mm -hmm. Go to the word. Amen. What does the word say? Amen. Amen. That's why the scripture says, if any two of you will agree as touching anything. Yes. For those of you that have stood in an anointing line to be anointed for prayer, yeah. we'll ask you, what are you believing God for? Amen. Amen. Because we want to hear what you're believing. If you come forward and you're wanting prayer to be healing, healed, guess what? Your step forward to have hands laid on you has declared that you're believing for a healing. Yes. So yes. we must not allow anyone to beguile us, even with 
persuasive speech. Stand on the word of God. Amen. Amen. The next thing. He goes into verse 5 and he says, For though I am away from you in body, yet I am with you in spirit, delighted at the sight of your standing shoulder to shoulder in such orderly array and in the firmness and the solidness and the steadfastness of your faith in Christ Jesus. Paul was not seeing them shoulder to shoulder. Paul was seeing them spiritually standing with each other, shoulder to shoulder, as he was looking out a prison cell at an armed guard standing watch. He's seeing a soldier stand watch in the full array of the armor, but he's seeing us, the believers, standing watch in the armor of God. Yes. He's seeing it. Yes. We stand together. We are not moved. We don't let anything, anyone try to beguile us and turn us from the word. Amen. 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 So we stand and, and he tells us to be, to stand firm in firmness and solid front and steadfastness of your faith in Christ, leaning of the entire human personality on him absolute trust confidence yes. in his power yes. his wisdom and his goodness Hallelujah. he's telling us to be conformed to Christ yes yes to be like him amen to be like him hallelujah The only way you and I can ever be like Christ is to let him who lives in us live more. Amen. For him to live in us and us to live less to ourselves and more for him. Yes. This day, this age we're living in, brothers and sisters, this is what this day is about. Yes. He's preparing his bride. Yes. He's getting his bride to be made ready. Amen. Adorned for his appearing. Thank you, Lord. Conformed more and more to his image and his likeness. Do you hear me tonight? Amen. 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 Yes. So we conform more to Jesus. In verse number uh, 6, it says, As you have therefore received Christ, even Jesus the Lord. So walk, regulate your lives, and conduct your lives in union with and conformity to Him. Yes. He is the standard. He is the standard. He is it. Here's a new concept. No, it's not a new concept. (laughs) I just say it's a new concept. But how about this? Okay. The scripture says, be slow to speak. Yes. When someone speaks, it doesn't mean immediately mean we have to respond. Yeah. How about be slow to speak? Slow to anger. Oh, yes. Mm. Yes. But the world teaches us be quick to speak. Oh, give your opinion. Yeah, give your opinion. Yes, give your opinion. <laughs> I tell you what, that's one of the things that, 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 I, that I'm so confounded by is every invention that's been invent, invented concerning a computer, everything is about everybody giving their opinion. Yeah. And it's, and it's constant opinion, 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 opinion. <laughs> and everybody's opinion instead of is the word what does say? the word say? Yes. Well, let me give you my opinion about this. My opinion about this. My opinion about this. What does the word say? I was speaking with a very dear brother today, and the conversation came up about, well, what do you think? <laughs> and that was exactly the way to put it. What do you think? The big thing this year is, well, it's 2020. <laughs> that, basically, that's come to be anything can happen in 2020. Okay? Well, what do you think? God's got it. Amen. Yes. God's got 2020. Yes, yes. I'm not a worried about 12 yes. months ago, 10 months ago, 9 months ago. I'm not worried about last week. Yes. 
Well, the world's falling apart. No, it isn't. The world, as Lonnie put it the other day, the world is falling into place yeah. in God. Yeah. The world is literally falling into place for the return of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ, Amen. for his bride, Amen. for the tribulation period, for the for the thousand year reign of Christ, yeah. for the new heaven and the new earth. Yeah. It's falling into place yeah. for everything, for the end of days to be fulfilled. Yes. It's falling into place. Yes. Come, let's look a little bit further. I got two, a few more things here. I need to share with you. Amen. We must be firmly, we've got to be firmly rooted. Yes. Verse 7, have the roots of your being. Amen. I like the way it puts that. In the, uh, in the King James, it says, rooted and built up in him and established in faith. But I like this. Having the roots of your existence, mm -hmm. the roots of of your being firmly and deeply planted in Jesus, yes. in Him. Yes. Be firmly planted, be rooted and deeply planted in Him. Hallelujah. <clears throat> fixed. Yes. Fixed. Fixed. Yes. And founded in Him. Being continually built up in Him. Hallelujah. Becoming increasingly more and more confirmed and established in the faith, in Him. Amen. Just as you were taught and abounding and overflowing in it with your thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Well, I don't have a whole lot to be thankful for right now. Did you wake up this morning? Amen. If you woke up this morning, you got a lot to be thankful for. Thank you, Lord. Thank Every day Lord. when I wake up. I say, Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord. Because I've been in a place where I didn't know that there would be the next day, the next breath. But we are to be thankful Amen. for everything. Amen. Rooted and grounded and established in Him and in our faith in Him. Thank you, Lord. We must live in that place. Verse 8, look at this. I'm winding this down, but i got to get this to you. Amen. See to it that no one carries you off. Wow. See to it that nobody carries you off. Give no place Amen. to the devil. Amen. A couple of weeks ago I shared with you. The weeks run together. But a couple Amen. of weeks I shared. We must have the gift of discerning of yes, spirits. Yes, you did. You were sharing that. Amen. We must have the gift yes. of discerning yes. of spirits. Yes. Just because I know Joe Blow out here, and I've known Joe Blow for 30 years, when Joe Blow says something and it's contrary, to give no place. Word of God. Amen. Yeah, when it's contrary Amen. to the Word of God, I, I'm not going to listen to it. I don't want to listen to it. Because I don't want it to put the slightest seed in my life. Do not be carried away. Do not be carried off as a spoil or makes yourselves captive by his so-called philosophy and intellectualism and vain deceit, idle fancies and plan plain nonsense, following human tradition, men's ideas of material rather than the spiritual world. Don't be carried off by the material world versus the spiritual Amen. world. Amen. Because what is spirit will be manifested in the natural. If any among you is sick, come before the body of elders. Let them anoint you with oil. Pray the prayer of faith. Well, pastor, we're not together. You can't anoint us with oil. Let me tell you what. I've prayed for more people in my life over a telephone, and I've asked them, do you have any oil? No, I don't have any anointing oil. Go in and get some Crisco. Go in and get the oil, uh, the vegetable oil. I'll wait on you. 
Okay, anoint yourself. We're coming into the prayer of agreement. Hello, are you hearing me? We come into agreement. We stand on the word of God. We don't get carried away by the nonsense of this world, but we live in the spiritual world as we walk through this world. Amen. Spirit controls the natural. Amen. Spirit controls the natural. Come how on. How many times do you just speak over your own self? I, I mean, how many times, like when you when you <coughs> start feeling any symptom, arrest it. Arrest it. Right Take then. Take captive that thought. If you even start feeling a twinge of a headache, well, don't wait for it to turn into a migraine. Speak to that thing. Yes. And get the Word of God out and start speaking the Word of God and yes. praying it over yourself. If you get a pain in any part of your body, start praying even yes. yourself. I would encourage believers the same resurrection power of the Lord Jesus that lives inside of us. It's here to quicken our mortal yes, bodies. Yes, quicken and your And we mortal. are come able on. to speak even over our That's own right. bodies. Because yes. the enemy will come and he'll try to put some twinge of pain on you here or there. You command it in the name, in of, the name Jesus of Jesus to get out, to be gone. Yes, yes. You, we must take authority Amen. Amen. over these things. Yes. The world out here, I mean, my goodness, I... You cannot turn on the TV without seeing a drug commercial. Yes. Drug commercial. The world. They say it might kill you, but yeah. it has these symptoms. Okay, these are all but... these symptoms, yeah. and it may kill you. Yeah, and you're just like, what? Okay, so so all of a sudden you're going, oh my goodness, I'm feeling this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 my ears. Lay hands oh. on it and pray. Lay hands on yourself and speak the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do it. Hallelujah. Do it. Yes. This is something that's got to be taught Amen. to young believers. Amen. But you can only teach what you know. Amen. <laughs> I woke up the other day and my sinuses were trying to give me a fit. No. No. I grabbed a hold, I laid my hands on them, and I said, declared, Hallelujah. these sinuses are the healed of the Lord. Absolutely. I thank you I will not have a headache. Hallelujah. I thank you that stuffiness be gone in the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. My sinuses opened up. I, amen. They speak opened life. up. Speak life. I love what Crystal just said. Speak life. Speak life. Death. That's right. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Verse number nine. For in him the whole fullness, yes. gets this, yes. get this, for in him the whole fullness. Yes. I don't think I finished reading verse 8. Okay. Um, let's see. Intellectualism and vain deceit, idle fancies and plain nonsense, following human tradition, men ideas of material rather than the spiritual world, just crude notions following the rudimentary and elementary teachings of the universe yeah. and disregarding the teachings of Christ Jesus the Messiah. Amen. For in him the whole fullness of deity, the Godhead, continues to dwell in bodily form, giving complete expression of the divine nature. Amen. Who lives in us? Jesus. 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 Well, you know, I, do, I don't believe that he totally lives in me. Okay, well, how are you born again? Jesus, he didn't give me 10% of himself. Jesus took up residence in me. That's how we can die to the flesh and live to the Spirit. I can't do that on my own. But through Him, the Deity, the Godhead living in me, I can live a life for Him. And young believers especially need to know that you can live not living in sin. You can live free from sinning. Amen. You can live a life free. Amen. He that the sun sets free is free yes. indeed. Amen. Come, let me come down to this next verse. Amen. And you are in him made full. That word full there is a prophetic word and it doesn't just mean okay 
are, and you are in him made full. Okay, what am I made full of? You are made in fulfillment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has finished the work. Hallelujah. Yes, we're dying, but the finished work lives in us. We've just got to let it live in us. Amen. Amen. And thus live out of us. Yes. And you are in him made full and having come to the fullness of of life in Christ. Yes. He's speaking to people he doesn't ever know that he's never met. Yeah. And he's telling them, you are in fullness yes. in Christ. Amen. You too are filled with the Godhead. Yes. Father, Son, Holy Spirit and reach full spiritual stature. Thank and you. he is the head of all rule and authority over Amen. every angelic principality and power. Amen. Greater is he who lives in me than he, he that, that is in, in the world. world. You and I, we have fulfillment living in us. Hallelujah. The answer of what I wanted for, from life yes. back in 1984, I was trying to find who I was. Yes. Fulfillment. Yes. trying to find my place in this world. Yes. And in Christ Jesus, I have fulfillment. Yes. In Christ, you have fulfillment. Yes. We are not yet who we will be. Yes. For we are being changed from faith to faith, grace glory. to grace, and glory to glory. We're being changed more and more into his image and his yes. likeness. Yes. But let me give you one last thing before we uh, close the service tonight. And Amen. in this, if we are fulfilled, yes. if we are living in fulfillment, I want you to grasp this. From the book of Hebrews, the 12th chapter. This is something that God's really been speaking to my heart about. Because Jesus is coming. Yes. Speaking with my friend the other day, a precious brother, man of God. Uh, he lives in Alabama. And I was speaking with him and we were talking about the coming of the Lord. Hallelujah. And Jesus is coming is so soon. Mm -hmm. I expect him at this very moment. But if he doesn't come at this moment, the next moment Amen. or the next moment, Amen. I'm expecting him now. Amen. I serve a right now God Amen. and I'm living for whenever he's ready, he can come for me. Amen. Come on. Amen. And the scripture tells us in the book of Hebrews, the 12th chapter, it's telling us in verse 14. I won't go into all of it because it, it's another teaching, but it says, follow peace with all men. Yes. Follow yes. shalom. Follow yes. oneness yes. with people. Amen. And holiness. Well, you know, I, I, I can try to live peaceably with somebody, but I don't know how to live in holiness. Somebody said that. Somebody said, said that. How do you live in holiness? Yeah. It's in the Lord. It's the Lord in it's us. Truly the Lord. Every time that we are confronted with do this, mm -hmm. guess what? We have a choice. Mm -hmm. The world says we're not tolerant, but we believe in people living choice. Every day we choose how we will live. Yes. Every morning I wake up and I give my life wholly to God. Lord, I'm living for you today. Amen. Because it's a new day. And Lord, I'm going to live a right life. I'm going to let you live in me. Amen. I'm going to let holiness guide me. The scripture says, follow peace with all men. Yes. And holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Amen. We live in holiness you, with the Lord. Yes. We live in it in our relationship with God. Yes. We live in His 
holiness. Amen. We live in his holiness and we see God not only in the future, but we see God every day in our lives. Amen. 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 You may be out there tonight and you may be saying, Pastor, I don't understand all the things you were talking about. I want you to know Jesus loves you. He's the son of God. He came to this earth. He died for me. He died for you. Amen. He died for the sins of this world. Yes. Everyone that's lived, everyone that will live. Yes. He died for us. He loves us Amen. with an everlasting love. He died the most cruel death known at the time, death on the cross. Yes. He died a death that was intended to suffocate someone. But he took that upon himself. Yes. He went to the cross freely. Yes, he did. To be the sacrifice for my sin and your sin. Mm -hmm. He took the punishment that I deserved, that you deserved, that all mankind deserves. Jesus took our punishment. He was buried in a tomb, yes. and on the third day he rose from the dead. The word of God says that if we'll confess with our mouths Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, we'll be born again. Amen. So right now, I'm going to pray. Amen. And I and if you would like to ask Jesus into your heart, pray with me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I come to you. I come to you. I know you're the son of God. I know you're the son of God. I know you died for my sin. I know you died for my sin. And you took my punishment. And you took my punishment upon yourself. Upon yourself. You were buried in a tomb. You were buried in a tomb. And on the third day you rose from the dead. And on the third day you rose from and the right dead. Now, and right now, you're seated. You are seated at the right hand of God. At the right hand of God. So Lord Jesus. So Lord Jesus. I ask you to forgive me. I ask you to forgive of me. All my sin, of all my sin. Come into my life. Come into my life. And from this day forward. And from this day forward. I'll live for you. I will live for you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. And for those of you that just need to be stirred again in recognizing that you have resurrection power living in you. For those Amen. of you who just got born again, I want to tell you what. You have tapped into yes. the beautiful source of resurrection power. Jesus is the life and the resurrection. But as believers, just in our walk every day, if you have found yourself just not running at a high level Amen. where you mm -hmm. need to be, the Lord is wanting to say to you tonight, I want you to walk in the resurrection, resurrection power, power that I have for you. Yes. Whatever situation <clears throat> in your life looks dead tonight, that looks like it's hopeless, the Lord wants to infuse it with his hope. He wants to uh, ignite dreams inside yes. of you. Yes. Maybe things that you've put on the back burner that you just felt like <clears throat> are hopeless. And certainly, even now, seem like, well, it just couldn't happen now. Amen. The Lord wants to resurrect yes. that that he planted in your heart. I don't know who that's for tonight, Come but on. there's somebody that, there's something that you have always wanted to do, and you just feel like it's not going to be able to be done, mm -hmm. but the Lord put that in you, and he's going to resurrect it yes. and bring it to pass, and just wants to resurrect inside of you the knowledge of who lives Amen. in you <clears throat> the word talks about us stirring up the yes. gift inside of us and we can't just let things grow dull right. amen right. stir up that gift that is inside of amen. you and we do we welcome those of you that have accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as yes. your Savior Welcome. tonight. If you need a Bible, please let us know. We'd love to get one to you. We want you to get plugged into our discipleship class with Larry and Christina Foy Amen. right there on our Facebook page and also all of the classes that are there to just <clears throat> encourage you and just to know you can connect with this body of believers, Celebration Family Worship Center, and you're going to be surrounded by love. Amen. Absolutely. Absolutely. Amen. And we do. We welcome each and every one of you. Right now, we're going to pray over our tithes and offerings as we do every service. 
And uh, so let's just go to the Lord right now as we lift those up to him. Amen. Uh, Father, we come before you. We thank you, thank you for Jesus. salvation through Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank you that he broke the law of sin and death. Hallelujah. And we are alive in Christ Jesus. Thank you. We are children of the living God. Hallelujah. We can cry, Abba, Father. But, Lord, you didn't just give us a new life. You also told us that we are partakers in your kingdom. Amen. You've told us that we're joint heirs with you in your in inheritance. Your inheritance. And Lord, the nations of this earth belong to you. And you died for all the nations of this earth. And Lord Jesus, gathered around your throne right now are men, women, and children from every nation, every tongue, every tribe, every kindred. And they're worshiping you in spirit and truth. And Lord, if that's what heaven looks and sounds like, that's what the church ought to look and sound like. So Lord, we call them in from the north, the south, the east, and the west. We call them from the four corners of the earth. Give up the lost. Amen. And they come to your kingdom with glad and sincere hearts. We grow in the things of your kingdom together and we see an outpouring of your spirit. We see souls, souls, souls souls, souls coming to you. Now, Father, you've told us to pray for those in authority over us. And Lord, we pray for President Donald Trump, Vice President Mike Pence. We pray for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. We pray for all those in the Congress, the cabinet, the Supreme Supreme Court. We pray for all those in the Senate. We pray for those in the state legislature. Governor Cooper and all the other governors. We pray for those in local authorities. We pray for them and their households to be born again. May the blinders be lifted. May they see the Lord Jesus Christ as the Savior. We pray that they be baptized in the Holy Ghost. The Word of God be a lamp unto their feet and a light unto their path. We all would walk a highway of holiness together. We don't just want to hear the Word. We want to act upon the Word. Reap the heart of the word. Right now we give its given good measure, pressed Pressed down, down, shaken together, together, running running over. over. Men and women pour back into our bosom so we can give again. We call us and our households saved. We declare yokes lifted, burdens removed, bodies healed, and we cry, souls, souls, Souls to the kingdom oh, yes. in the mighty name of in Jesus. Precious holy amen. Name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We continue, Father, just to declare your beautiful word. Yes. Your beautiful word from Psalm 91. We thank you, God. I loved, I got to read it. Let me just see if I can back up here for just a minute. Go right ahead. I loved something that Crystal shared right here. Uh, when we're talking about praying over ourselves, she says she prays over her house every day. No thieves, no robbers, no disease, viruses can enter in. They have no authority, and I just believe it's done in Jesus' Amen. name. Amen. And that's the same way whenever we're praying Psalm 91. Come on. You declare these things over your own home as you put the bloodline around your house, as you put the bloodline around where you work. That's what we're doing whenever we're declaring Psalm 91 at the conclusion of each service. Whenever you sit enthroned under the shadow Mm. of Shaddai, you are hidden in the strength of God Most High. He's the hope that holds me and the stronghold to shelter me, the only God for me and my great confidence. He will rescue you from Mm. every hidden trap of the enemy and he will protect you from false accusation and any deadly curse his massive arms are wrapped around you protecting you you can run under his covering of majesty and hide his arms of faithfulness are a shield keeping you from harm you will never worry about an attack of demonic forces at night nor have to spirit a fear of darkness coming against you don't fear a thing Whether by night or by day, demonic danger will not trouble you, nor will the powers of evil be launched against you. Even in a time of disaster with thousands and thousands being killed, you will remain. And here's our bywords. Unscathed, unharmed. unharmed. You will be a spectator as the wicked perish in judgment, for they will be paid back for what they've done. 
when we live our lives within the shadow of God Most High, our secret hiding place, Come on. we will always be shielded from harm. How then could evil prevail against us or disease infect us? God sends angels, angels with special orders to protect you wherever you go, defending you from all harm. If you walk into a trap, they'll be there for Come you on. and keep you from stumbling. Even You'll even walk unharmed among the fiercest powers of darkness Come trampling on. every one of them beneath your feet for here is what the lord has spoken to me because you have delighted in me as my great lover i will greatly protect Come you on, yes. i will set you in a high place safe and secure before my face i will answer your cry for help every time you pray and you will find and feel mm -hmm. my presence even in your time of pressure and trouble i will be your glorious hero and give you a feast. You will be satisfied. satisfied. I love satisfied. that. With a full life and with all I do for you. For you will enjoy the fullness of my salvation. Yes, yes, yes. Amen, Thank amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for fullness in life, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Pray a blessing Amen. over you. We pray blessings over you. We pray the Lord will bless you. The Amen. Lord will keep you. The Lord will make his face, face. to shine upon you and lift yes. his countenance unto you. Yes. And he'll give you peace both now and, and forever. forever. You're blessed in the city. You're blessed in the country. Everything you put your hands to is are blessed. blessed. Your barns are blessed. Your fields are blessed. Your kneading boards are blessed. Hallelujah. The fruit of your womb is blessed. blessed. You're blessed when you rise, rise up. up. You're blessed when you lie Lying. down. Down. You're Amen. the head, you're not the tail, you're, you're on, on top. top, you're not on the bottom. Amen. You're the redeemed of the Lord, and the Hallelujah. redeemed of the Lord shouted, Amen! Amen. God bless you, Amen. we love you dearly. Amen. We love y'all so much. God bless y'all, we love y'all. Oh, bless blessings, you. blessings, blessings to each mm. one of you. Mm. Mm. We Amen. love you, God bless you. Have a good Have remainder a of the week, Amen. and we'll see you on Amen. Sunday morning. God bless you.